بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. مدام تشابس دكتور مريسا. the CEO of Uto uh, Consulting and the CMD of uh, ADL Capital and also uh, our distinguished keynote speaker, Dr. Siddhi. Our partners in this uh, conference and all the distinguished participants. I am very glad, extremely happy to be here again. I think that this is not the first time I, am, I have met some of you. Um, so I would like to thank you again for inviting me to grace this occasion. So I would start um, expressing my appreciation to Uto Edu Consult. And I don't know the spelling is right and the local host Modi's Center for Islamic Finance, Mr. Dedi, for this uh, extreme audience. It is truly an honor for me to be the chief guest of this Islamic banking and finance industry conference for the held in Modi's for the third time. M. M. Mipfi, I think, Mipfi, is an international financial uh, conference organized by Udo Concert of Sri Lanka, um, which is in itself a testament to the strategic importance of Maldives as a center for Islamic finance in the region. I fully agree our uh, distinguished uh, keynote speaker. We should not say this is be a center. We should be the hub for Islamic world, Islamic finance. That is our vision. I'm sure we will be able to achieve this vision with their, uh, with their assistance. Dr. Muniza has been um, the champion, also the chairperson of Islam Finance Corporation. Um, I'm sure with the help of uh, Dr. Muniza and her work, dedicated work and commitment, and also uh, um, the, more, more the, the finance, Islam Finance Company CEO and, and, and the members will be able to achieve the goal that we have in Muslim. It is a vision of our president to make more deeds a hub for Islamic finance. I would um, touch this in our uh, little uh, presentation or little uh, uh, speech. So let me all, let me welcome all the respected international speakers. I hope I will be able to be a participant here um, because all of my life I spent in finance sector and um, Islamic finance is part of it. Um, I'm happy to note this conference specifically addresses numerous key areas to further develop and strengthen the Islamic finance and halal industry in the Maldives. It is through this type of uh, intellectual discourse that any industry will flourish and will be of benefit for the people of this small nation. As we all know, the global Islamic finance industry has grown and expanded rapidly over the last decade. I think it's not only a decade, no more than a decade. From our distinguished speakers, we started almost early as the 70s or even before that. According to the World Bank statistics, Sharia compliant financial assets are estimated to be two trillion dollars, and Islamic finance is already mainstreamed within the global financial markets. The government of His Excellency Abdul Yamin recognizes the importance of Islamic finance or Islamic economies 
for financing development efforts of this nation. Today, I am extremely proud that we have founded the Modi Islamic Finance Center, a 100% government-owned company. The purpose of MCIF is to achieve the important objective of developing Islamic finance and halal industry in the country and to establish Maldives as a hub of Islamic finance in South Asia. As our distinguished speakers mentioned, the future road passes through Maldives. I think I fully agree. The, the future Islamic finance road passes through Maldives. I think we will widen that road with your help. At present, it's very narrow. Maybe we can widen much, much wider than any other country. Priority has also been given to develop and promote halal industry as a separate industry in the country. I'm sure that Teresa has done a lot of work in this. I sometimes have to argue with her. What is halal industry? Let me tell, tell me what is halal industry. Has it become an industry itself, or is it just a product? So she gives a lot of explanation. I still remember those days. As such, even now, MCF is in the process of establishing halal accreditation board in association with all relevant government agencies. Ladies and gentlemen, the third Islamic Banking and Finance Internet Conference is held for the first time in a resort like Pandas Island. This is the first time. So I think um, we are also trying to make a resort as Hala or Sharia compliant. The purpose of this is to showcase the importance of Islamic finance in tourism as well as to emphasize the importance of investing in halal tourism. That's, I think, how we are going to develop our halal industry. It's not only the, the meat going to be halal, now the service or the resorts are going to be halal. Um, halal tourism is uh, now an established concept in the global tourism industry and is well documented. I think um, Dr. Murisa did not disagree with this. For generating ample amounts of revenue to the governments. Government therefore recognizes the importance of tapping into this lucrative market. I think we can make it more lucrative. As initial step, the government will be allocating um, an island to MCIF, already is done, there is one island allocated, to develop a halal resort. <laughs> For the first time in Maldives, tourism industry, the revenue from the project will directly benefit the deprived people in the society by enhancing the quality of their lives. In order to achieve this noble objective, the profits from this project will go, will go into a sovereign fund for the elevation of poverty. Our government envision a prosperous country that shares the proceeds of growth with all. We seek to incorporate equity and inclusiveness in the course of our development. Distinguished guests, today at this momentous event, I am extremely proud of to highlight President Yamin's vision to open up our financial sector to the world by offering attractive incentives for foreign investors. Hence, to plan, hence the plan is to establish international finance center in Maldives. Not only Islamic, but international finance center in Maldives. 
This major project will be based in Hulmale. And I have a very happy news. At present, the Modest Center for Islamic Finance Company will be in charge of this project and making uh, the arrangements for the inception of this Moscow project. And I, 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 I'm extremely um, grateful to MCF, Chairperson, CEO, and the board members for this, uh, for the acceptance to carry on this project. Um, since I, we are also running out of time, I would not um, go further. I would like to thank you again for this uh, third time to have this conference. And I have also gained a lot of knowledge from the care speaker's uh, presentation. I um, hopefully, uh, sometime in my life, I'll be spending more time with you. Um, so I hope that this conference would enhance our efforts and revolutionize our means towards developing our delicate economy through Islamic finance industry. Uh, before I sit, I would like to thank um, our Honorable President for his initiative, for his commitment to make Maldives a hub for Islamic finance. And also Dr. Melissa and uh, MCIF and uh, the rest of the team who are assisting us to make this happen. I'm sorry, I'm all of the, I would like to thank all of the distinguished speakers here and also um, the organizers for this successful um, two-day conference. Thank you again. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.